welcome to Sports News for Kids. I'm Joel Zeman. And I'm Kane Caps. Adam Mitchell will no longer be joining us. So now, let's get out to our top headlines for today. We have March Madness, National Champions, MLB News and Scores, NFL Insider, Caden's Upset City, Jay-Z's Bold Picks, Hershey's Hockey, Straw's Wishes, Doing Your Job More, and Fantasy Gold Medal. March Madness is officially over. This year was a great one, but with a funky finish. Yep, a 7th and an 8th seed both met in the National Championship. And, and the 7th seed UConn won it all, 60 to 54. Since both men and women from UConn University won the national title, here's some background knowledge about them. The men have won four national titles in total, and all of them have been since 1999. Men's coach Kevin Ollie is only the second coach to win the national title at his alpha mater. And for the women, their coach, Gino Arima, is 9-0 in the national championships, passing Pat Summit for most in all time. Here are some good MLB games this weekend to watch. Um, the Red Sox and the Yankees. The Red Sox are 3-4 and four, and the Yankees are 4-3. and three. This is one of the oldest rivalries in MLB history. Next, Marlins and Phillies. The Marlins are one of the hottest teams in the MLB. And then the Royals and Twins. These teams are evenly matched inside and out. This edition of the NFL Insider is going to be about the draft. The Houston, um, the Houston Texans have the number one overall pick. They aren't really announcing who they're leaning for yet. Um, some candidates are Jadavion Clowney, Johnny Mansell, Teddy Bridgewater, and Blake Bortles. Who do you think is going to get it? Email us who you think at sportsnewsforkids at gmail.com. Welcome, Kane's Upset City. Here we go. First game up, Dallas Mavericks win San Antonio Spurs. Spurs got blown out last game against the Timberwolves last game. Absolutely manhandled. And I think that that will be a huge factor because they may not be over this game. So I had to make my team the Mavs. Next game up, Pacers versus Heat. The, the Heat are one, are one game ahead of the Pacers in the Eastern Conference, and the Pacers are going to even that out in this game, winning 89-8. to eight. Hey guys, welcome to Jay-Z's Bold Picks. I believe Steve Stricker and Fred Couples move up to first and second on the leaderboard if they play how they can play in the Masters. Bold! Welcome to Hershey's Hockey, and let's jump right into our first matchup for the day. First game is Capitals vs. Hurricanes. I picked the Capitals in this one with Chad Green and Nicholas Backstrom and Alex Ovechkin on the power attack to win, to win the game. Next game is Flyers vs. Lightning. I picked the Lightning because they have been on a hot streak, and with the fans with going with them, I think they'll just be even more hard to beat. I also think they'll get a shutout win with Ben Bishop in net and have Steve Stamkos lead the way. Last game and most interesting game is Avalanche vs Canucks. I picked the Avs in this one. The Avs are just rolling right now. They are leading their divisions and division and they also have leaders like Matt Deshane, Riley O'Ryan and the power attack of the Avalanche is a tough team to beat. Welcome to Straw Switches. Here we go. The games for this week are the Chicago Bulls versus the Detroit Pistons. Of course, I'm going to go with my favorite team, the Chicago Bulls, and because of their amazing defense. I think they will stop the Pistons to under 85 points. The next game is the Heat versus Pacers. I think this will be a great game and a close scoring game, but I think the Heat will take the win because of LeBron James. The last game I have is the Sacramento Kings versus the LA Clippers. I think the LA Clippers will win this one because of Chris Paul. I think he will lead his team to victory. Now it's time for doing your job more. Is it number seven seed UConn winning the national championship, or the UConn women finishing a remarkable undefeated season? Welcome to Fantasy Golden Bolt. In this segment, we're going to tell you who's the bust of this year and who's on the road to glory. That's right. First on the gold side, we have Ryan Braun. He smashed three home runs and a win on Tuesday against the Phillies. Next, we have Grady Sizemore. He's launching home runs and hitting a high average. What's his average? 
a whopping .364. Then we have Yadier Molina. Like always, he's a big threat on the field, and now he's a threat on fantasy teams too. The last but not least, Irvin Santana. This is this season for these players is going great now. Now I have the moldy players that we'd recommend you lose for now. First up, Josh Hamilton. So far, he's bringing up great numbers, but he's out for six to eight weeks with a torn UCL on his left thumb. Next, Yasiel Puig. He's slow, he can't really hit, and now he's on the DL. i drop him or trade him. Then, Coco Crisp. He's an injury pro, no doubt about that. And last, Matt Latos. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at underscore underscore SNK underscore underscore. And send us some fan mail. Please like and subscribe. Signing off, Kane Caps, Joel Zeman, and the SNK crew.